Upper body, ready to roll. Warm up, 60 seconds on. 10 second recovery. Big circles to start. We'll go one way and the other. We'll go in 10 seconds. Right, so in 10 seconds, we're gonna go 15 seconds one, 15 seconds the other. Change hands, change hands. Are we ready? In three, two, one, let's go. So 15 seconds here. There we go. So I'm gonna go forwards for 15 and then back for 15. In four, three, two, one, change direction. There we go. That's a good work. So just making sure, nice big circle, sweeping by the ears, getting those shoulders nice and warm. We'll change hands in three, two, one. Let's go, change hands, there we go. Excellent work, good work, there we go. Nice, there we go. Keep that going. Just open up the shoulder joint. Good work. In three, two, one, change direction, there we go. Good work, that's it. Just reaching up to the sky, up to the sky, behind the ear, in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. The next one, thoracic rotations, hands by your ears, come out to one side, back down, out to the other side, back down into the middle, okay? We're gonna go in five seconds. So again, soft knees, side to side, in two, one, let's go. There we go. So we're just opening up the upper back, the T-spine, into the middle, out to the side, into the middle, out to the side, good, there you go, nice work, keep it nice and smooth, not too fast, and also don't rotate too far around that you hurt yourself, this is just a warm up, 30 seconds to go. Good, breathe out in the way up, breathe in in the way down. Good work. Keep it smooth. Good, we're almost there. Just under 15. Side to side, back into the middle. Rotate to the side. Good, hold up that back. Two, one, and rest. Next one, dynamic downward dog. You're gonna be in the push-up position. You're just gonna go all the way back, back into centre, all the way back, back into centre, okay? We're gonna go in three, two, one, let's go. So I'm gonna push back, back into centre, pushing back, back into centre. So what we're doing here is just opening up the shoulders, the chest, we're also getting a little bit of a lat stretch in there. Good, so just hold that core, hike up, back down, there we go, good, getting those shoulders nice and warm, just move at your own tempo, back in the centre, move at your own tempo, hold it for as long as you would like at the peak position, we're almost there. Give me 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Good work. This is really working the upper body. Get it nice and warm. Two, one, and rest. Good. The next one is our dynamic shoulder stretch. We're going to be on our feet. All we're going to do is we're going to come across. We'll hold, back down, swing across. Hold for two seconds. Hold for two, and two, one, let's go. There we go, so just hold for two, swing down, other side, swing down, hold for two, back down, there we go. So again, it's just a little dynamic stretch, just to get those shoulders, get that upper body, loosey goosey, ready to have an awesome upper body session. There we go, good work. That's us at halfway, just holding for two, 30 seconds to go, Two, good. One, two, good. Swing down and up, good. Your upper body should be feeling nice and mobile now from the start of the session. But that warm up's important to make sure we have a great session, don't pull any muscles, and everything's nice and warm, ready to go. 10 seconds to go, good. 
After this one, we'll get small shoulder circles in four, three, two, one. Take that little rest. Next one, small shoulder circles. Your hands are going to be all the way out. You're going to go 30 seconds one way, and then you're going to do 30 seconds the other way. It looks easy, but it starts to get really, really difficult around halfway. Three, two, one. Let's go. So I'm going to start forwards, and then at 30 seconds, I will then go backwards. Again, I want to make sure I'm getting that nice thoracic extension. I want my chest to be out. I don't want to be slumped forwards. I want to be looking forwards and I want that nice small movement. Small movements. There we go. 10 seconds. We'll change direction. There we go. Good work. In three, two, one, and change direction. So now you're going to be feeling this really working the shoulders. You're going to be feeling this working the neck as well. Good. Again, you want to be making sure you're squeezing the rhomboids at the back as well. Squeezing that upper back to get that nice and warm, get that activated. Get that chest up nice and tall in 10 seconds. Last exercise and the warm up will be done in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Great work. Get a little drink of water if you need a little drink. We're going to put this down in 40 seconds, so it's 40 20. We're doing two sets of each exercise. There we go. Perfect. Make sure that's a quality, smashing. Nice, so the first one's gonna be bicep curl. So we're gonna get those dumbbells, we're gonna get those weights. You're gonna bicep curl, and then you're gonna show the press and come back down. You're gonna bicep curl, you're gonna show the press, you're gonna bicep curl, you're gonna show the press, okay? We're gonna do two sets of that before we move into the next exercise, what will be our bent elbow lateral raises, okay? So we get 20 second recovery between every exercise, one big full set, 10 exercises, are you ready? I'm going to get the timer started. We're going to go in 10 seconds. Pop that water to the side and let's get to work. So again, first one, bicep curl, shoulder press back down all the way up. And two, one, let's go. Good. So we're getting two muscle groups in this one exercise, which is really good. It means that we don't need to spend time just doing one and the other. We're now working both at the same time. We're getting more bang for a buck. There we go. Good work. So sh uh, shoulder press, bicep curl. There we go. Bicep curl, shoulder press. Good. Back down, back up. There we go. And again, move at your own tempo. Again, if your dumbbells are light, you'd want to maybe move a little bit faster. If they're heavier, two, one, and rest. If they're heavier, then you maybe want to move, move a little bit slower than what I'm doing. Just go on your own strength, okay? We'll get we'll just over 10 seconds, and then we're getting back in there. So again, we're doing the exact same exercise, bicep curl and shoulder press, working the biceps, working the shoulders in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Here we go. So we're coming down, and up. All the way down, all the way up. Good. Make that curl, make that press. Curl, press. So you can really feel that working the biceps there when you're coming up to the shoulders, and then you can feel those shoulders as you go from the shoulders up to the sky. There we go, keep going. 20 to go, good work. Time flies by when you're having fun, let's go. Come on, 15 seconds, let's go. 10, press up, curl, press up. Five seconds, let's go. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Lateral raises we usually do with a wide stance. This time we're going to actually bend our knees, eh, sorry, bend our elbows, and we're just going to be moving like so. All right, so we're going to be really working the shoulders, keep them at 90 degrees, and then come all the way up to the side of the shoulders. In three, two, one, let's go. So, again, what we're doing there is we're just 90 degree bend, coming up, and what we're going to really feel here is the shoulders are starting to fire up already. So this is really isolating the shoulders here. 90 degrees, just small, small movements. There we go, so we're just going from the inside of the body to the outside. There we go, keep going. So we're just moving those elbows out to the side, back in, out to the side, back in. Four, three, two, one, and rest, four, 
There we go. So that's a different variation from the lateral raises. We can maybe do them a lot quicker. But these in here, tuck the, tuck the elbows in tight and then just come around to the side, 90 degree angles at all times with the weights, really gets those shoulders fired up. Again, let's get the position in three, two, one. Let's go. So you can see I'm literally just rotating those dumbbells in almost the same position. The elbows are the only things that are slightly moving. But those shoulders, oh my, they're getting fired up right now. They are really working. Oh, drive those elbows up to the side. Drive those elbows up to the side. There we go. Bent elbow. Not bent knee this time, bent elbow. Lateral raises. Oh man, my shoulders are getting fired up here. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest. Whoa. Shake them out. Next one we're doing, we're going to be on our knees. We've got kneeling tricep extension. We're going to be here. We're going to be coming back. And we're going to be pressing up towards the sky. Again, make sure you get that nice press up. We're going to go in four, three, two, one. Let's go. So what we're doing here is we're just bringing those dumbbells as far back as we feel comfortable. Again, make sure you do not hit the back of your head with the weights. We don't want any blood, any concussions during these fitness classes. There. there we go. Let's go. Let's work. Drive those hands up to the sky. Drive them up to the sky. There we go. Press up. Press up. Good. All the way. We're almost there. Two. One. And rest. Four. So again, what you're going to be doing is feeling it right down the back of these muscles here, which is your triceps. So it's going to be toning the backs of the arms. So we don't have any of those bingo wings. The only time we want to play bingo is when we're doing numbers, not with these here. All right, we're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Good. Again, I'm just moving it on tempo, keeping it in control, making sure my technique is good. Make sure I'm working those triceps to the best of my abilities. If you're going faster than me, amazing. If not, you just move at your own tempo. This isn't a race. 20 seconds to go. Woo. Ah. Feel those triceps fire up. Oh, lovely work there, lovely work. Keep it going. Go, 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 go. Woo. Press up. Come on. There we go. Two. One, and rest, oh, oh boy. Right, so we're in exercise number four. We're gonna be doing decline bench press. So all we're gonna do there is we're gonna get that glute bridge position. We're gonna come down and press back up, okay? So let's go and get our back. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. And on the second set, we'll just make it just a little bit harder. Oh boy. Those triceps are feeling warm. They're feeling that nice pump sensation when all the blood is in the muscle. There we go. All the way down. Elbows touch the ground. Press back up. Good work, guys. Keep that going. You guys are doing phenomenal. Keep it going. Drive up. Good. 10 to go. Great work, guys. Let's go all the way to the line. Come on. Three, two, one, and rest, good. What I mean by making it harder on this set is all we're gonna do is we're gonna keep one dumbbell up at all times so that all the muscles are on constant tension for the full 40 seconds, okay? We're gonna go in five seconds. Again, keep those hips nice and high to activate the backside. Three, two, one, let's go. So again, we're just changing the variation of the exercise, almost like a single arm bench press, but no muscle is being switched off in the upper body here. We'll get one to stabilize and we'll get one to move. Good work. Keep going. Keep the hips high as well. Remember, keep those hips high. Squeeze the glutes. There we go. 20 to go, guys. Great work. Phenomenal work. Come on. We're almost there. Give me 10 more seconds. Drive the dumbbell into the sky. Go, 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 two, one, 
and rest, good. Next one is core flies. What I mean by core flies is we're actually gonna have our knees and our feet in the air and we're gonna come down and we're gonna come back up like so and this actually activates the core more and the chest. We're gonna go in four, three, two, one. Let's go. So this is a really great exercise to just get the core involved within the upper body program so we can work a lot of muscles at one time, boosting that metabolism. That's it, there we go. Chest flies all the way down. Coming back up, only a slight bend in those elbows. Don't bend the elbows too much. You can kind of see they're almost in full extension, but keep those legs in the air. Keep them at 90 degrees, guys. Keep those knees at 90 degrees. Don't let their feet drop to the, the thighs. Two, one and rest good what i mean by don't let them drop down to the the back of the legs don't let them drop here keep them here at all times that keeps the lower abs engaged as well same again two sets keep those feet up flying out in five four three and we're going two one and let's go there we go that's it nice work keep it smooth keep it controlled good again Keep those feet in the air. Don't let them drop to behind the thighs. There we go. You can feel those core muscles activate as well as the chest. Fantastic work, guys. Let's keep going. Exercise number five of 10. Come on. Good. We're almost there. Let's go. Give me 10 more seconds. Work that chest. There we go. Bring those dumbbells up and down. Hup. And down. Good work. Three. Two, one, and rest, good. We're gonna go on your feet, and what we're gonna do is our back rows, gonna have those nice soft knees at that stiff leg deadlift position, driving those elbows back like so. All right, so we're gonna go in seven seconds, and then we're gonna change the grip on the second set. In three, two, one, let's go. So that's, we've been working a lot on the front, now we need to make sure we're balancing that out by hitting the back as well. Doing these back rows, elbows tight to the body. That's a good work. Drive those elbows right back as far as you can. Good, 20 seconds to go. You guys are doing phenomenal, let's keep going. Great work tonight. This is excellent, great upper body class so far. Let's go, 10 seconds. Drive the elbows back, good. There we go, keep the core strong. Three, two, one, and rest, good. The next one we have is a wide grip. So what we're gonna do there, instead of keeping the elbows tight to the body, we're actually now gonna, dumbbells facing to, to behind you, and we're gonna be doing wide grip rows, okay? Wide grip rows in three, two, one, let's go. So you can see those elbows are flared right out, and I'm just bending those elbows from a straight position to a 90 degree flex position. So we're keeping the same stiff leg deadlift, soft knees, but we're making that wide grip. So we're coming all, bring those elbows all the way back, all the way back, but in a wide grip position. Good work, good work. Makes it just work a little bit harder. Keep going. Two, one, and rest, good. We're gonna go into one knee, we're gonna be in the lunge position. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna start with the right hand side, so the right knee is gonna be forward. We're gonna use the right hand, left hand out for balance. We're gonna do 40 seconds one side, and then 40 seconds, single arm press the other side, and two, one, let's go. And again, even though this is an upper body class, we're just throwing a little bit of core in here as well. We're changing the base of support. We're just making it a little bit more challenging on our coordination and on the core stability as well. That's it, good. So we're working a lot more muscles. We're recruiting more muscle fibers. We're really working that central nervous system as well. Getting everything fired up. Keep driving that arm up into the sky. We're at exercise number seven, you're doing so well, all of 10, two, 
one, and rest. Good, we're gonna put that left leg forwards, and then we're gonna switch hands. I'm now gonna use that left hand for the single arm press, right hand out for balance, and we're just pressing up again as best as you can. We've got 10 seconds. Again, this is really good, but the left side is a little bit of rest. Now the right gets a little bit of rest. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Let's go. There we go. And again, we've got a different exercise coming up that we might have not done before on number eight. Again, I'll demo that after these single arm shoulder presses. Good work. There we go. Keep that tummy nice and tight as well so we protect that back. 20 seconds to go. There we go. You guys are doing so well. Keep going. Come on, keep going, keep pressing. That's it. I want to see smiles on your faces. Come on. We're working hard. We're getting after it in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. So the next one we're going to do chest focus front raise. Palms are going to be facing up the way and we're going to move up across the body like so. You see that my palms are up and this is a bit more chest focused than shoulder focused again. So palms facing out, up to the side in two, one, let's go. There we go. So we want to be making sure we're coming up across the body like so. Squeeze the chest on the way up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We're just getting a different variety in that single arm front raise. There we go. Bring that up all the way up. Good. Up to the shoulders. There we go. Shoulder height or higher. There we go. Kind of a little bit up to eye level. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good. So again, what we're doing there, we're using the chest to bring this weight up above the shoulder on the left hand side, and then up above the shoulder on the right hand side of the left arm. Okay. Palm, palm spacing out in four, three, two, one. Let's go. There we go. There we go, again, if the dumbbells are quite light, it might be a little bit easy, but if those dumbbells are the perfect weight, then you're gonna feel that chest fire, as well as your biceps, as are working to stabilize the dumbbell. We're just coming up, there we go. Don't go too far across the body, just slightly across the midline, and back down, there we go. Squeeze the chest, squeeze the chest, Good, squeeze the chest, good work. Up we go. Two, one, and rest. Good, exercise number nine. A little bit of an easier one before we move into a hard one is we're gonna do side bends. So we're gonna be working on those obliques. We're gonna do 20 seconds on one side and then we'll do 20 seconds on the other side and we'll get two sets of that. So keeping nice, nice uh, straight hips, just coming down to the side in two, one, let's go. There we go. So we're crunching on the way down, back to centre. There we go, so we're working those obliques. Good, there we go. You feel that side ab really fire up there. In four, in three, in two, in one, and chain sides, there we go. So now we're working on the different side. Again, just crunch, squeeze at the bottom, back up, squeeze, and squeeze, good. There we go. Exercise number nine of 10. Doing so well here. Three, two, one, and rest. Good, same again. We'll go down one side for 20, we'll go down the other side for 20, and then we'll get exercise number 10, which is a little bit different again, but it's body weight, so put those dumbbells to the side after this last exercise here. We're gonna go in seven, six. Are we ready? Keep the core nice and tight, out to the side. Two, one, let's go. There we go, nice. Side bends, coming up to the start, back down, crunch that oblique, crunch that oblique, there we go. Oh, feel that bar and feel the squeeze. Good, working that V, come down to the side and change. Let's go, change sides. There we go, 20, 20. Good work. All the way down, back into the center. Just go as you feel comfortable. Don't push it too hard. 
Just get a little crunch back up in four, in three, in two, in one, and rest. Pop those dumbbells to the side. We don't need this for the last one. It's Renegade Rows with our body weight. We're going to be in the push up position and we're just going to bring one hand off at each time as we are rowing in the push up position. Okay? We're going to go in four, three, two, one. Let's go. So I'm just rowing. Bringing that elbow back, bring that elbow back. And what we're doing here is we're working our lats, we're working our shoulders, bring that elbow right back. Body weight, renegade rows, 20 seconds to go. Good. Drive the elbow back, keep it close to the body. Good work, guys. Good work. Drive that elbow right back, keep it tight to the body. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so what we should be doing there, if we're on our knees, is we're just bringing that elbow right tight to the body, okay? I'm bringing it nice and tight to the side of the body, back down, the same with the other side, but in the push-up position. We're gonna go in four, this is our last one. Three, two, one, let's go. Good. You can see that I'm just squeezing that elbow, side of the body, side of the body, good, working those lats, working those shoulders, with the stability, keep going guys, keep going, good work, 20 to go, this is the hardest one of the night, let's go, feel the side fire up, side fire up, good work, we get five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Excellent work, guys. Woo! Great class. So, what we're going to do now is I've uh, had a lot of great um, feedback for some of the classes, and some people are looking for neck and shoulder stretches because, again, we're sitting down at the desk, we're maybe hunched over and our neck is leaning over and we're getting a little bit of a tight neck and we're also getting a little bit of tight shoulders all down the back of that upper back area. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to spend a couple of minutes stretching those areas out. We can do these on our knees but I want you to get also a weight. Alright, so get one dumbbell, pop that to the side. What we're going to do is we're going to get our right hand, we're going to pull our head over to the right hand side, keeping this left hands straight, all right? Again, taking nice big deep breaths in through the nose. Breathe out. Feel this right down the trapezius here, upper trapezius. A little bit of sternal cleodermastoid, a little bit of anatomy there, but you wanna be pushing those fingertips away and just giving that neck a nice lovely stretch. Take a nice big deep breath in. Breathe out. Try and get a little bit of a deeper stretch there. There we go. And then four, three, two, one. Coming out of that position. Oh, I feel that nice, sort of lovely sensation as you get out of that position. Get your left hand over to the right hand side. We're going to pull that head over to the left hand side. The right fingertips are going to be reaching as far as they can down to the ground. And we're now stretching out this right here, this side right here. There we go. Take a nice big deep breath in. Breathe out and just try and stretch a little bit further. So try and pull that neck down to the left a little bit more. Keeping those, that right elbow straight, keeping those fingertips reaching right out on the right hand side. Good, take another deep breath in. And breathe out. And then two, one, and come out of that position. Now what we're going to do is we're now going to do this with our weight. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab that with your left hand. You're going to get your right hand. You're going to bring that over to the, the right hand side. And now you're going to allow that weight to just relax on the left hand side. And oh my goodness, how good is that stretch? Just let that shoulder drop on the left side. 
and just allow that dumbbell and that weight to do its work along the side of that neck. So this is a really good one. If you're feeling as if you get a tight neck from sitting down, looking at the computer screen, get a bottle of water, two litre bottle of water, a dumbbell, and again, take a nice big deep breath in. And breathe out. Yeah, take a nice big deep breath in. And let go. Good. Just hold that for another five, four, three, two, one. And coming out of that position. Oh wow, that felt good again. Now I'm just going to repeat that one. The dumbbell on the right hand side, getting the left hand, pulling it over to the, the head over to the left hand side. And I'll just allow that shoulder, don't, you know, shrug the dumbbell, just let it, let that shoulder relax, let it drop. There we go, hold that there. Just where you feel comfortable, take a nice big deep breath in. And breathe out, let go. Good, just relax that shoulder, just let the shoulder drop. Let that dumbbell do its thing. Take a nice big deep breath in. Breathe out, and I'll go a little bit deeper into that stretch. There we go. And hold. Hold that for five, four, three, two, one. And just coming back out of that again. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pop that dumbbell to the side. And the next one we're going to do just to open up the upper back and the sides of the upper back. All we're going to do here is we're going to go into child's pose. And from here, we're going to sit back on our heels if we can. But what we're going to do is I'm going to get my left hand and I'm going to reach round to the right hand side with my palm facing up. And I'm just going to now get my left shoulder and try and press that onto the ground. And what this is doing is stretching out the left hand side of the body. And again, just nice big deep breaths in. And breathe out, try and get that shoulder a little bit lower to the ground. If you can't do that, I can't do it, then it shows us a little bit of tightness in that upper back and in that left shoulder as well. Take a nice big deep breath in. Breathe out, try and go a little bit lower again. Good. From there, just coming out of the left hand side, and I'll just switch sides here. I'm going to now, we're now going to do a right hand side. Left hand's going to support me, and my right hand's going to come through. And we're going to have that right palm facing up towards the sky. And again, you're going to feel that nice, lovely stretch down the right hand side of the back. Take a nice big deep breath in through the nose. Breathe out. Get low, there we go. You might feel a few wee pops here and there, a few wee creaks and cracks. That's just us opening up the, opening up the joints. Take a nice big deep breath in again, last one. Breathe out and try and get a little bit lower again. There we go. And just hold, hold for five, four, three, two, one, and just coming back out. Great work. So again, what that was doing was just mobilizing that upper back, that T-spine. Again, get any tightness in there. Just repeat those stretches in your own time throughout the, um, the rest days. But again, phenomenal work, guys. Go and enjoy the rest of your evening. I will see you on Wednesday for our lower body day. I hope you enjoyed our first class back after a week off. Nice and smooth, hard in areas, easier in other areas, just to allow us to recover and get back into the flow of things. Really good work, and I'll see you on Wednesday. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Great class. See ya.